hello there. How are y'all doing today? I'm uh, Mr. Michael from uh, m and Model Railways. Uh, the m and stands for Michael and Michelle. Michelle happens to not be here right now. I just wanted to uh, show you a little bit of uh, train running. Uh, as you can tell, we've got two uh, working locomotives on our layout right now. What I'd really like to talk to you about is uh, building a... Uh, crossover a grade crossover to the hay barn back there because uh trying to finish out that parking lot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring you a little closer to the layout so you can see everything that's going on here and we'll be right back in a few minutes Yeah, let's give you a little bit more of a closer up view of this uh, operation I'm doing here. We have a cattle operation, and as you can tell, we we did some uh, train operation. So uh, what you're looking at right now is the uh, cattle operation. We got two uh, um, cattle cars uh, parked there. They have the ability to load those, and uh, we can move them back and forth, and because of the uncoupler unit that sets right behind uh, the alleyway there between the, the barn and the uh, the littler barns we can only put uh, um, two cattle cars in there in order to be able to pick that up so as you can tell we have a hay barn that's built back there well what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to access every inch or so of my train layout and so I need to uh, fence this in because this is a cattle operation. And if uh, uh, the cows would happen to get out, we don't want them to get anywhere near those those tracks. So as you can see, I've, I've actually started to put uh, a fence section in here. And we've got a corner here. I'll be building this up and putting an actual crossing here. And then we're going to just extend this fence and touch this set over here. We'll have an actual crossover for uh, a company, uh, um, shipping and receiving cattle company, and then we'll be putting uh, uh, more fence down the rest of that. But we have to have a place for hay because you know this uh, first area that we have built here, that's the hay area, the hay field where this hay actually comes from. So we have to have a place to put it. And as you can tell, we've got a pickup that's sitting back here that's actually loading hay. And uh, we're going to be building a little gate across here and a crossover over this. So uh, I've got a little gate section here, as you can tell right there. So I'm going to put this gate section right in about there. But it'll set low enough where uh, everything is um, on, the, on the flat part of it. So you're seeing that right there. So what I want to do is I want to use uh, my, my smooth it and I want to make a, uh, um, a little uh, over there and a crossover, great crossover. So the pickup will actually open the gate. He'll stop and open the gate and then he'll go get his hay and then uh, um, there's room for him to uh, pull out this way and back this way and come over the crossing. So when he comes into it, he goes over the crossing, as you can see right there. And then he can pull up here, and he can back up right here. So I'm going to move him out of there for the time being. And I'm going to use my uh, Smooth It paving tape. Um, there's the paving tape. Let me move out a little bit further. That's the paving tape road system that comes from uh, Woodland Scenics. So I'm going to be cutting some of that uh, to uh, form across that. And like I said, how I got that uh, um, is I put my uh, um, fence section right there. And then I took my little marker 
and I drew some black lines on there. Those black lines will all disappear because uh, I'm going to make it look like it's got that, that uh, we call Apache Sun, which is the dirt color of our layout going over the top of that. So that's, that's my idea. And uh, I wanted to kind of curve this coming through here a little bit. So it's going to come across here and hopefully come out about like that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that down in there. Um, put the tape across there. I'll show you what it looks like once the tape is installed. And uh, then I'll put the smooth it on there and show you that. And uh, then we'll uh, make sure that the cars and the locomotives and stuff can still um, get back through there. So let's go ahead and get the tape on there. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. Please keep watching. All right. I got the... Uh, Paving tape down, and I've mixed up some uh, smooth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spoon, and I'm just going to apply my smooth it in my area, and use the spoon to try to level it out. Dropped a little bit of it by the car parking area here, so I gotta clean that up. Let's get them out of there. Now we'll be sanding this down after I pull that smooth the tape off of there down to nothing so I didn't put any of my stuff on the ends here I said I'll be just taking it down to nothing and I just wanted a little path that the uh, that, a, that an individual vehicle would take so I'm just going to kind of work it a little bit Rest this out of here. I actually might smooth that down there, and I want to make some a pathway with a with a truck. So as you can tell, we're coming over them rails. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and then we'll sand it down after it's set up there for about 24 hours. And I'm going to put some. Um, traffic ruts in here and this smooth it is probably about the best thing to use to, to put little tracks in there that, that a vehicle has made you know in the mud or something and maybe it's uh, kind of not really good um, maintenance in this area who knows what they may be thinking about Said I'll be sanding this smooth. Let me get it to where I want it to go. This is uh, the smoothed piece that comes with uh, the, the paving tape. So I think I'm going to call that good. I want to level this out right here just a little bit so I can put some ruts into it. Then I'll be doing light sanding, make it where I want it to go. So you can take a, a vehicle, make your marks in it. Like I said, I'll be uh, um, giving it a light sanding. I think what I like to do is make a little path with my vehicle. So 
Yeah, I'd be, I better wait until that sets up a little bit to, to do the track. All right, let's let that dry and then we'll be back to see what it looks like uh, once it's touched up a little bit. Keep watching. Well, I pretty much got that little path uh, done. I got it sanded down. I got my little finch section setting in there. I haven't glued it down yet. I can still lift it out of there. But what I want to do is I want to see if the cars and the engine will clear that. Uh, let's uh, do that right now. Let me fire up the old uh, locomotive behind us and let's see if she'll go in there. First we'll try the locomotive. of a short coming back over there. Clean that rail a little bit more. It's going up back and forth a few times. It's clearing the uh, fence section it looks like. Now let's uh, hook up some uh, cattle cars that belong back there and let's see if we can get them to load up in there. Gotta get over that uncoupler just perfect for it to work. I wanted to just connect them right behind the locomotive there, it should work. If it don't work that way, then we do it by hand. That's what our little uncoupler tool is for.
think he's working okay over that. Back him up and see what happens. One more time. Let's just clear, clear that panel. All right. Let's park him right here. As you can tell I've got the uh, path all done got to move our customer cars or play cars out of there so I'm gonna paint all of that the color of the ground that I'm using and that's the Apache Sun that I had made up and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna use a smaller brush to get the uh, railing crossover painted first they have a four-wheel drive to get up over that track and I'll paint up against the track on the other side with it I'm going to paint a little bit of the dirt coming in over the barn. As you can tell, I had to take that barn loose because of uh, needing to uh, have access to that space. Now I'm going to use a bigger brush so I can cover more of the space quicker. Pretty good. This is going to look pretty cool. We should pick up those uh, um, vehicle ruts I put in that plaster too. I painted down in there with a black marker where uh, that fence section is going to go. Because that's one of the Deciding factors. It's like a well-traveled uh, parking lot that uh, has been uh, muddy at times and it's dried out now. Because uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I can see the traffic ruts in there. After I get that fence in there, I'm going to put some uh, greenery down next to it. So it's an area that maybe there's some grass growing up there like the borrow pits have it in there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You can tell that there's some green grass in the borrow pit. Just going to do some fine uh, painting and uh, try to cover up all the white stuff. Makes for a nice, uh, well used uh, dirt parking lot. Alright, that's a uh, Work on getting that fence put in there, and uh, we'll see this thing starting to come to life. I did have to take the hay barn out of there uh, because I needed to work with that area. So we'll be putting that hay barn back in there here pretty quick. Let's go ahead and uh, glue that uh, fence section down.
or I forget where I made the marks at. Now the gate is lined up right where the uh, crossover is at. So the next section of fence we want to put in here is a, uh, a fence that catches the connection. So that's how I'm going to do it. Mark the holes and we'll go from there. Well, I'm down to my last piece of uh, fence railing that has to go in there. It's got to go in here right here. And what I'm going to be using is uh, a piece of uh, section that doesn't have any corners on it. And I'll put some uh, small posts in there when I'm done. But I'm going to have to trim it so it'll fit in there. So how do I go about doing that? Well, what I want to do is I want to measure that distance there. And it looks like it's one inch. So then I take and find the center of this. So go to the center and go half inch on each side and cut it. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. So I measured the distance. Let's see how it looks. Let's start with it upside down. So I need to trim off a little bit more. All right, looks like it's passing through there now. So now we got to find out where the uh, little holes line up at. So we put in our base, we mark a hole, then I turn it upside down, put the one hole in there, the post in that one hole, then I'll be able to find that second hole. It's kind of like I put in the, uh, the ballast, I mean not the ballast, but the the fence that uh, was the support for the rail, you know, the highway rail. All right, I think that's going to work for me. Might move this hole back just a little bit. I want to set something kind of heavy against that to hold that fence up there. Let's try to fit this again. For some reason that one's not hitting the right spot. Bent the post trying to push it into the ground. This is very fragile stuff. We got to remember that. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and glue that, and then I'll put some uh, glue over the rail. That'll help hold that. And then uh, we'll put some grass down in there, and uh, that fence ought to be done. Check back soon. Now because that section of fence that I used does not have a, uh, a post on the end, I'm going to use a little dowel, but I'll put some glue in the hole first. Then I'm using really, really small square tubing. It's actually the same as what's there. What I'm going to do is take my side cutters and
cut it off at the surface of the rail. I want it to look like it's a new post that they put in so it wouldn't have any discoloration on it. And then I'm going to put this other one in a hole right here. I want to put some glue down over the top of it and then I'll brush it on there. It'll help it to uh, adhere to it and it'll stay put. Need a bit of a bigger hole for that. Alright, same thing on that one, let's uh, cut it with the top of the railing. Now we want to get it up to the same height. Remember I told you I was going to brush that glue on there? Let's do that now. The glue that I poured over the top of it, it'll help adhere that and post in there. We can also pour some glue over this post. What I like about this kind of glue is it dries clear. That looks pretty good. Let's set up just a dab. All right, I think that uh, concludes our uh, fence building time. I want to brush a little glue over that other seam there. This other joint here needs a little bit of help. All right. Let's pan back now and check that out. Well, hello. In order to finish out this video here, I'm going to have my wife, Michelle, uh, apply the greenery, the ground cover, to the parking lot area. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, zoom in on it with a different camera so you all can see uh, how she's going to apply it. I'm going to talk her through it, uh, so why don't you keep watching? All right, so I'm going to spread some Mod Hodge, just right at the edge of the fence. Is that, that far, babe? Uh, about twice that far out. So about right here? Yeah. You can try to get it under the fence, too, if you can. Okay. It's pretty close to it. Michelle is uh, right-handed, so she does things on the right pretty easy, and I'm left-handed. It's She wanted to do part of the video, so that's what I'm letting her do. And, and put it down sparingly so, you know, it's wet. So it's just a... It's a little thicker? Yeah, just go a little bit thicker with it. And you can stop and then shake that stuff in there at any time. And then, um, but if you just want to go to that gate, then that's fine too. Okay. Might need to put some more in my little container. It's up against the uh, um, fence is where you would find like grass growing or weeds growing in a dirt parking lot, right? Well, depending where you're at, I guess. 
but since we're in a farm territory. <laughs> yeah, don't go any more into that driveway. So, is that wide enough? Yeah, well, widen, widen this out in here just a little bit. Just, so just kind of blend it in and then bring this around a circle here a little bit more. That's good. Okay. Now go ahead and sprinkle your ground cover on it and then I'll do the side up against the building. A little more. real thick. That's okay. good for now. All right. Okay. okay, and then use this little shaker and start shaking away. And we, we paint this on in the area we want the ground cover to go. And then when it dries, it dries to uh, uh, clear underneath it. So then once uh, it's all done, we can sweep it with a, a brush into the area or Vacuum it up when it's all done. And uh, I just saved one of our garlic salt shakers. <laughs> and it does smell like garlic, too. <laughs> you can tap, shake, whatever you want to do. I washed this thing out, too. Still smells like garlic. All right, that's good. Um, a can, more. Uh, let, let, let me do the part uh, up against the A little more now. in here. But... How's this look? I can't really see it. Okay. Looks good. Um... Did you want me to put some glue right there? No, I've got okay. a lot of ballast in there. Yeah, let me put a little bit of that there. All right, now uh, a little more down there. let me uh, finish out the areas with my other hand. A little more. See, the gate is right here. So. Yeah, that, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this area up in here. Now right here we have uh, an offload facility. But that area would have uh, some uh, greenery there too. You want to shake it in that area? Are you going to put some I will, but go ahead and shake it where I put the glue at. I was just asking, are you going to put some around the door? I am. Oh, cool. Looking more real. That's good. Now, uh, we've got a little concrete pad there that uh, they walk out on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, brush this at an angle. So maybe it's a little lawn that they take care of. Maybe it's a little... I might just get some on my hand and just... Because I don't know if the shaker's down I'm, I'm going to do it down there. All right. Okay. So I want to put it ample amount on there. Are we going to put, like, maybe a, a few, like, sage bushes or something later on? I don't know. I think the traffic would drive over it. Okay, that. I mean, so like what we're gonna what we're gonna do now is go get another brush, and then brush this uh, up onto that wet stuff. Okay. And I'm gonna put a little bit right here, because uh, there could be some uh, ground cover there as well. Can you reach it, or you want me to do it? Try to push it back up into the building there so it looks like it's uh, getting it. Let me put a little bit more right there. Yeah. You might come over here and look at it a little bit. So I'm just trying to push it. Just trying to push it more up against the building. And then there's actually a, uh, a little, uh, let, let me see your detailer. I don't want to cover up that. Uh, On the door? That little, uh, <laughs> so I'm just brushing that back in there so it'll set. I don't want to cover up that parking area. Brush. So now we'll have to uh, wait for that to dry and then we can uh, um, sweep a little bit more of it. All right, I'm going to let that dry. I'll go ahead and take both of these. It looks better. I mean, right. Look at that little difference. 
Yeah. Now, why don't you let me have those, and uh, you can take the camera and kind of talk about everything that you're seeing here. Do um, you think we should put some greenery back here? Because this is all driveway area, so I don't think they would see any there. Maybe like a little bit back here by the river. All right, take your little brush. Um, you're right-handed, so let me move this. I'm not another... Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you reach it? Yeah. Can you reach around the camera there? I think so. Go ahead. I'll go help wash this off. I want to make it look more uh, natural. Just be aware of where they park at there. There wouldn't be any grass. Yeah. Do you want me to go along the whole edge? Okay. Look more natural. And then are they gonna park here or can I put some here? No, don't put any there because they pull up in there and then I'll back, back up. up. Okay. Alright. You can put some uh ground cover on this side over here too. Like in here? Yeah, you can do that whole thing there. Just okay. keep off the tracks. I need some more munch pudge. Bringing it down around that red post there where that pickup spark is back there at, too. Okay. And we'll vacuum it off after we put it down. We got another couple of applications to do to seal it down, so we don't want it to move at all. Yeah. Because you take the vacuum around it, you know, and you want to get that done correctly. All right. Let's Shake check away. It. Arm. <laughs> I'm not used to reaching. If you want me to do it, let me know. That was so That's fun. Good right there. I'm gonna have to sweep out the river room before we pour the resin. You need the stream. Okay, the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the stream. This the other one's a river. Babe, I might need your reach. Ah. I can't get quite back in there. With the shaker? Yeah, that's my shoulder. Shake up my stool. That's good. We'll uh, vacuum it up. And... Um, can you see back there by the post? How much a difference it made. Why don't you take the camera and just show them, you know, kind of kind of hold it with your hand and then just kind of show them and kind of do some close-ups with it. Okay, I'm not eat it because my shoulder's hurting from doing that. Alright. Uh, Mike will take over. My shoulder's hurting. Got a little bit closer view uh, coming down to the level of uh, the road. So you can tell when they're parked in there. We'll sweep off the road later. We'll sweep that road off. And I, I like the uh, ground cover. We'll sweep off that lot a little bit better. We've got some ground cover down around there. I think that looks pretty cool. We'll add some more if we need to. We'll add some more. 
Let's zoom back out so you can see the whole thing. Now we're going to do an unboxing video coming up next. Something that goes down in that area. Keep watching.